Here's a shot. Let's play it. There's no sound. Oh, boom. What's over there? What? Let me go. And out. Okay. So, character goes in. Thief with a tie. That definitely works. I mean, the question is, before I go into the animation, is... The idea is that this guy is breaking in. It's not his house, because otherwise he wouldn't get out. Unless it's another person's house that they know of. Maybe he thinks that someone is cheating on him, and he goes and checks. I don't know, but there's a bedroom here. <laughs> if that's the bed. There could also be something where... I think maybe in terms of pushing the tension, because right now what's happening, my general impression is that it's all a bit even and spliny and kind of, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, whoa, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, and so on. Versus, you can do all this, goes in, does that, and then, and it's just kind of hold, hold, then look back a bit, then tick, 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 maybe the door is opening a little bit and it goes to maybe a bit of a sliver and you can see maybe a character maybe it's a kid i don't know like something and then that prompts him to go oh no 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 i gotta go i gotta go and maybe during all of this it could also be i mean you could do this where you do this all dark with some white dots and it's nighttime and maybe you could have a light here and it's not it's not super bright. Again, enough so that we can see the character, but it's still a nighttime-ish thing. Because I would assume he would break in at night. And if it's the day, then maybe that would be a whole different story of something else. And then all of this happens. This happens here. And then you have that moment, like I said, of waiting. And then the door handle rattles a bit and stops. He has that oh, look like this. Pause. The door slowly opens and that lets in more light and then you can have a bit more ambient line coming in. He looks over there, but all he sees is that the door is slowly opening and he thinks someone is opening it. And now I'm adding a lot more work to your shot, but hear me out. The door, right, is opening, more light comes in, but it's it was the cat or the dog, because my dog can open hand doors with the handles here. And it's a dog that comes in that sniffs around. Or it's a human that's really sleepy. They could have, you know, the, the thing over their eyes so they can sleep. They're almost sleepwalking going in. Anything that is slow that he can't see because the door is not completely open, that gives him time to get out. Because I'm only saying this, and I know I'm adding a lot of work, and that is very destructive in terms of notes. But you're saying here, I would like to add the shot to my showreel. So I'm just thinking in terms of, okay, here's your character, comes in, this is a problem. So, okay, that's a fair problem to have, and they need to get out. But if no one's coming, nothing's happening, or the audience has no inclination that something's hot, uh, happening or coming in, there's no sound or anything, right? It's, it's pretend we don't work with sounds. There is no reason for the character to rush. So there could also be a, ugh. Now it's annoyed. That doesn't work. Looks around, maybe uses the lamp to open this. You know, this is a whole different situation. So for me, I'm saying all of this just because, well, this is problem number A, but the urgency is because of problem number two, and we have a door in frame, so we might as use might as well use this as a story point. Something's happening. Again, doors <clears throat> doors opening. It could also be that this is happening. He does this. Door handle opens or does some shaking. He goes, oh, looks over. What if there is not this, but it's a table. It's like a night table. And there's a chair in front of it. And he kicks the chair so that the chair goes and perfectly hits this in the air, right? And this is blocking this. So now you don't have to animate any of this here. You can just show the door opening a little bit, rattling. But the chair is um, 
what's it called? It's just it's stopping the door from opening. He was just really, you know, very good at throwing this over there. Or he can do something where he goes, oh, grabs the chair, and with a... Maybe I should change the, the colors here. I just can't see anything. <laughs> or the character is really, uh, you know, able to bring this over. That's my awesome drawing. And puts the chair there. And then scrambles back and has those scrambly legs to go back there. Does all of this. You know, that's pushing more. Maybe the door is, is bending over. He looks back a bit. And then does this. And instead of this, it's actually the other leg so that you can have the head this way to look. Because he's freaking out. Because maybe now the, the chair fell and he's about to get out. And I wouldn't do this either. Because if he's in such a hurry... This to me feels more like, all right, it's Wednesday. I got to get to work. <laughs> like how he exits. Oh, okay. Versus, no, no, let me get out. Go. And then someone's coming here. Doors opening, the chair slowly breaking. Then you have this, and it's more of a character falling over. It's finally open, and you can see the, the legs are just, he's just falling, jumping out, and trying to get out of there more in a hurry. So I think that's how I, I'm approaching this critique, where it's think about what you want to do. To me, this is less about the animation where he kind of magically... Watch out, you got the sections here. He kind of magically gets up. There's no sense of weight. He just kind of floats up. I think I have some body mechanics, some posing issues. He feels very stiff when you got the body, arms, and head all moving as one here. So I do have technical animation notes. But the thing is, none of these matter to me at this point because I have more... Watch out, the section. More story and conceptual thoughts on this which obviously you can completely ignore and just say nope i want to do this let me just critique what the animation is doing and then it would be stuff like twin poses do more offsets you know work on the line of action so that it's not just this it would be more like sneaking really like arms up maybe really trying to be quiet and then you have to decide is this guy clumsy you have this here because i'm seeing props right to me i'm going all right let's play with props then what if he bumps into this because he's looking at something else here and then you got the the lamp that stumbles and almost falls and then he rushes over to to hold the lamp and then puts it back so is he a clumsy thief burglar is it like a mr bean type of thing or he is super smooth so should maybe still dress differently and comes in here as well like a stealthy ninja but then this is now causing a problem but that's why he is so adept at kicking the chair and it locks in place perfectly. And then it's just him, well, how do I get out of there? Even though I'm really good at, at my job, this is a problem that's new. And you mean like, I would just play with, is this guy good at his job, job being a burglar or not? Is he getting somewhere because he forgot something? You know, maybe there's a suitcase here. You know what I mean? Like this, I would think of it as a scenario, who the character is, why they're going in there. What's the, what's the purpose of this? So he doesn't really look like a regular burglar or a thief. Not saying that they don't look like this. This is your, your, you know, your uh, some, whatever. He has a tie. I know to be just because of this, because it's not the stereotypical uh, ski mask type of thing where they don't want to be seen. He doesn't care about his face. Is he? Is he desperate? I don't know. Like I have so many questions about this in terms of what is the, you know, the the, the stereotypical thing of what is the motivation? Why is the character doing this? And then. Is this a brand new place he is breaking into or not? Is this a familiar place? Is this his own place for some reason? Is it a friend's place? Then you're showing all of this. Do you want to play with this or not? Is maybe someone sleeping in here? Did he accidentally go into a bedroom and didn't know it was the bedroom? Now he has to be quiet because someone is sleeping in here. Or the door is already open and someone's in the bathroom. And then again, realize he's in the wrong room. And now that person is going to come out. To go back to bed and so on. I know this adds more work with the second character, but I think you can look at what what are the, the ways of raising the stakes. So can't get out, but there needs to be a sense of urgency because he, he you know someone's coming. That's why he has to get out and so on and so on and so on. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Lots of thoughts for you to think about to filter through. Obviously, you don't have to do anything I said, but hopefully it's a springboard of ideas and something to consider. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.